Hello everyone and welcome to another Tamagotchi review video. This time I'm going to be reviewing the latest Tamagotchi release in English, which is the Tamagotchi Pix, and I've got the Wave 2 here in my little gremlin hands. So let's go over the good, the bad, and the other of this cool new Tamagotchi toy. So first up, the good. It's a unique device and it doesn't feel like any of the devices we've had before it. Nor does it feel like a dumbing down of a Japanese release, such as the Tamago Tamatown or the Tamagotchi Friends. It's basically a whole new device without dumbing down any of the previous Tamagotchi toys that have been released in Japan. And we've got a camera functionality, which is fairly unique for Tamagotchi toys. There was a similar release for Sumiko, which was the Sumiko Mike which I've done an unboxing of on this video if you want to check that out. And yeah, so you also have cooking, which you can also use the camera for, which is super cool. You take a photo of two things and then you see what happens Then you can choose to feed it to your Tamagotchi character or put in the fridge for later. Things last forever in the fridge though in this world. So that's pretty handy if you want to cook up some goods. You can also download them using QR codes such as ones from Mr. Blinky and uh, yeah, you can just kind of download them from QR codes, which is basically another highlight of this. All the communication and downloading is through the camera. You can just scan QR codes. And this is instead of course of like having a little infrared port or prongs at the top to connect or by having little an indent to put in the downloadable smart card pierce sort of thing that we've seen in previous releases. The toy also offers a great roster with a personality quiz to determine which egg you get. And as I mentioned, it doesn't require another device because it only uses QR codes for connectivity. So you can connect with your friends over long distance, which is fairly neat, but I haven't actually done it yet. But there's just so much of this device, I feel like I could just go on and on about all these features, but I keep on discovering new ones every time I pick up the toy, basically. It's got so much content. So as I mentioned, it reads these items from QR codes. So downloadable content is basically all free and already there. So that's pretty neat, especially when we've got Mr. Blinky, who usually does release the virtual pierces for the Tamagotchi Ps, but has now combined all the QR codes for this cool little device. And it's also fairly easy. You can get characters based on the items you feed them, as well as just the care. So it makes it a little bit easier to get the carriage you want, except for the fact I keep on not getting my favorite, even though he's on the, it, okay, it's gone to bed. Oh, he's having a nightmare, which is another cute little feature. And let's see, nah, not focused enough, but he's having a dream. So that's kind of cute. But anyway, lots of features. I haven't actually seen it do that before. So again, another new feature that I just discovered. So as I mentioned, it's full of gameplay and there's not many things to do. Jobs depending on what games you play and things you do with your Tamagotchi. There are multiple rooms also in your house to go to and you can have other characters visit you and you can actually go out and explore using the camera functionality and you can kind of walk with your Tamagotchi and you can pat it like you do on the Tamagotchi Smart but using the touch buttons. And yeah, it feels kind of immersive and you have to slide the buttons to clean the poo away or cover the screen to use like the medicine, and of course, if your Tamagotchi is very sick, you call the in-game smartphone to call the hospital, so that's pretty cool. However, there are bad points for this Tamagotchi. So the battery life is better with the Wave 2. Actually, this has been running for over a week with the batteries, so that's pretty good. I don't have a Wave 1, but I heard that the battery life was only two to three days. But again, it's... It's still not amazing on the Wave 3, Wave 3, I'm just announcing things, Wave 2, but it's still not as good as other ones because I guess how much you use the camera determines the battery life. I use some batteries and I only got a battery life about four days, but with these batteries it's still going strong after more than a week. So it would have been better to be rechargeable like the Tamagotchi Smart, but it, it doesn't matter, it's the same, just get some rechargeable AAAs or something. There's also the buttons which are kind of cool when they're the touch buttons here when you want to like clean its poo to do this or cover them like that's pretty cool it's got some sensors there you don't have to touch fairly lightly 
but it does take a little bit of getting used to. I thought it might be like the Tamagotchi Smart, which is like a hard press, but it's actually a soft, very, you're basically not even touching it. You're kind of just quickly touching the side part. It's very soft. You have to touch it. And also my main negative point is actually the price. So the price for me is a huge turnoff and it's why I initially didn't get the Tamagotchi Picks. It's 100 Australian dollars, which is very expensive for something I'm not importing. So that's a bit of a turnoff, but overall there's not that many negative things. And I came into this with fairly low expectations because people didn't seem too fond of the Tamagotchi Picks, mainly because of the battery life, but I'm a big fan of it. So let's move on to the other. So of course, I'm not, even, I'm not putting this as a negative because it's such a minor thing, but don't expect too much from the, tam the camera quality. I mean, why would you? But don't expect it to be fantastic. And the camera being on the back makes it hard when it wants you to take a selfie of yourself. You kind of have to do this, but it never gets you in frame because it gives you a little outline of where you should line up but unless you're holding up a mirror or you're getting someone to take a photo for you, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. So it kind of reminds me of taking like the old school, like digital camera selfies back in the day where you hold it up like this and you just hope it's in the right position. Maybe you hold it up and you've got a mirror there and you're kind of like, ah, bathroom selfie. Like the old school way before we had phones with front facing cameras and the only camera we had was a digital camera, usually like, Fuji and it's usually those like small ones that came in different colors that were very very popular when I was a kid and a teenager But in any case Those are my good bad and other overall. I'm honestly surprised with how much I love this Tamagotchi I think I might even prefer it to the smart as it's complete There's no needs for smart cards or the deco pierce that the Tamagotchi P's has or anything similar to unlock content Like you don't need another one to connect to to unlock that content. In fact, you can just connect with anyone on the internet with QR codes, so that's fairly neat. And it's just full, so full of content, I think I'm gonna be running it continuously, just discovering more content. I've been running for a few weeks, I feel like I haven't scratched the surface. I haven't even played the games. I just felt like I should release this review or else it'll just go on forever because there's just so much content on this thing and I definitely recommend it. Is there's just such a surprisingly large amount of things to do compared to all the other Tamagotchis and they tend to also have quite a bit of features themselves. I love it so much. It is so cute. And the animations aren't like jittery like they are on the older color Tamas. They're all like smooth like on the Tamagotchi Smart. Big fan of that. But anyway, I haven't gotten bored of it yet. And I just, I love it. And in terms of my rating that I give for all my virtual pet reviews, it's a 10 across the board. So 10 for enjoyment, 10 for ease of use. I'm so surprised. Maybe I like it so much because I had such a negative feeling about it. Like I was coming in with no expectations. In fact, terrible expectations. And it just was surprisingly amazing. And I loved it. To get the most out of it, honestly, I'd recommend getting rechargeable energizer batteries or something, but as I said, these ones are actually lasting a fairly long time and they're just, I don't think they're particularly expensive ones, they're just kind of normal ones. So yeah, I, I just, big fan of it, but the price, again, it's still a turn off. And if that is a turn off for you enough to not want to get it, then of course there are other options like your Tamagotchi Smart, because it may actually turn out to be cheaper to import a Tamagotchi Smart or to get a nano or something rather than spending a hundred Australian on this. Though having said that, if you buy Tamagotchi Nano just as they come out in Australia, the recommended retail price at EB Games is $50. They do decrease in price a few months after release, but if you want them on release, they tend to come out as $50, which is so much for a nano. But in any case, that was my review for the Tamagotchi picks. Did you, have you picked, have you picked one up? Get it? And uh, let me know in the comments if you have and what your thoughts about the Tamagotchi Picks are. Of course, there's the next version of the Picks, which is the Tamagotchi Picks Party. I think it's called Party something. It's got party in the name and it's purple. I'm looking forward to it because it's purple. And then I just, how, how can they go up from here? I, maybe they won't, or maybe they will, I don't know. But in any case, let me know what you thought about the Picks in the comments or why have you, haven't you got one yet? Is the price? 
Are you not interested in the camera functionality? Let me know in the comments and of course like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on the next video. Bye!